when you come to God's house, yeah. go ahead, man, go ahead. Hear you singing, take your burden to the Lord yeah. and leave him there. Yeah. If you ain't going to do it, shut up. That's right. That's right. Take your burden. Go ahead. God is asking for your problem. That's right. God said, bring it to him. That's right. Bring all of it. Casting all no of it. No matter how small. No, hallelujah. No, hallelujah. hallelujah. No matter how great. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Doesn't matter of your sickness. Go ahead, brother. Bring it to him. That's right. Go ahead. Doctor gave you six weeks. Hallelujah. Bring those six weeks to him. Hallelujah. Let God give you 60 more years. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Doctor gave you up. Hallelujah. Bring it to him. Go ahead. God said, I'll never forsake you. Go ahead. I'll never reach you. Go ahead. Yeah. Go if ahead. you take pain, bring it. As long as I step into the kingdom. Go ahead. Go ahead. Preach it, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nobody is going to get anything from God without pain. It takes pain to get that prize. You want blessings without pain. But many of these blessings will come as a result of pain. If you're struggling with the devil, Hallelujah. even you have a problem getting in the worship of God. That's true. You got to clear your head, clear your mind, do all that other stuff. That's right. Cast your cares upon him. Yes. Hallelujah. Don't let your wish up be a struggle. Go ahead, brother. Let your wish up be what God wants. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Why struggle in worshiping God? Go ahead. Take that trash and dump it on him. Go ahead. Hallelujah. God says, come unto me. That's right. Oh, ye that labor. And heavy laden, Hallelujah. and I That's right. will give you rest. Hallelujah. He said, put it on me. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're weak, put it on him. Go ahead. You're troubled, put it on him. Hallelujah. You don't have what you want, put it on him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Let the Lord know. Hallelujah. I don't have time. Go ahead. For this weight here. That's right. Pull it off. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, take off. Go ahead. Take it off. Hallelujah. Why? You have it written in the word. Hallelujah. He who the Son has set free. Go ahead. It's free indeed. That's right. Preach it. When you come to God's house, yeah. go ahead, man, go ahead. Hear you singing, take your burden to the Lord yeah. and leave him there. Yeah. If you ain't going to do it, shut up. That's right. That's right. Take your burden. Go ahead. God is asking for your problem. That's right. God said, bring it to him. That's right. Bring all of it. Casting all no of it. No matter how small. No, hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, hallelujah. no matter how great. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Doesn't matter of your sickness. Go ahead, brother. Bring it to him. That's right. Go ahead. Doctor gave you six weeks. Hallelujah. Bring those six weeks to him. Hallelujah. Let God give you 60 more years. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God just gave you up. Hallelujah. Bring it to him. Go ahead. God said, I'll never forsake you. Go ahead. I'll never reach you. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God.
you understand? Bring it to him. Don't bring it to him and take it back. Leave it there. Hallelujah. Let God have it. Hallelujah. God say, I want it. Hallelujah. Give it to him. Casting all your care. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost said. Casting all your care. Yes. All your care. All your care. Glory to God. Yes. All your care. Hallelujah. Upon him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He cares for you. Hallelujah. He said. Cast. He cares for you. That's right. Then he said, be sober. That's right. Be sober. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Because your adversary. The devil. The devil. As a wrong lion. Walk about. Walk is about. Walk about as a wrong lion. Seeking line. whom he may devour. Hallelujah. Satan get you all burned. Hallelujah. You can't even focus. Hallelujah. Because your mind is everywhere. Hallelujah. Thinking about the past. Hallelujah. Worrying about the present. Hallelujah. Worrying about the future. Go ahead, man. Focus on you and God. Hallelujah. Let God handle everything else. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. He said, cast. Casting all your care. Hallelujah. All Peter your care. Peter chapter verse for this. First Peter chapter 5 and at verse 7. Says what? Casting all your care. How much? All your care. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. All your care. He said, cast. Casting all your care. All of it. Upon him. Don't have to. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Cast all of it. All your care. Why? Upon him. Upon him. For he cares for you. You got cancer. He cares for you. Cast it on him. That's it. You had a stroke. Cast it on him. That's right. You got high blood. Casting all cast your care. Cast it on him. Go ahead, man. You got a fatal disease. Casting all your cast care. Cast it on him. Go ahead. You're blind. Go ahead. Cast it on him. Go ahead, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know what he said? Casting all your care. How much? All your care. Stop casting bits and pieces. Hallelujah. God ain't asking bits and pieces. Hallelujah. God is giving you the privilege to put everything all your care. on him. That's right. Let it go. That's right. He asked for it. Casting all your care. Give it to him. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. You hear the Bible? Casting all your care upon him. You go to God and give God bits and pieces. And then you say the rest I deal with. For what? You already see you can't handle it. You're already overwhelmed. So God says, casting all your care. He asked, hallelujah. All your God. care. God asked for it. That's it. Hallelujah. He asked for it. Hallelujah. And if God asks for it, hallelujah. God. Give it to him. That's right. Give God your broken heart. Go ahead. Give God your shattered nerves. Go ahead. Give God your lack of faith. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost says what? Casting all your care upon him. Are you listening? For he cares for you. He cares for you. Hallelujah. Let that matter. Yeah. If people stop caring, it may hurt you, but don't let it matter. Right. That's right. Because if you let it matter, then people will dictate your emotions. That's right. Do what God said. Casting all your care upon him. Thank God. 
for he cares, cares. all you care. That's what I did. Amen. But I was in falsehood. Yeah. Being abused every week. Yeah. Yeah. By my former preacher. Yeah. Hallelujah. I took all of it. Hallelujah. All the abuse. I dumped it on him. My Lord, my Lord. And I remember telling him, the only reason why I'm not going to leave you Hallelujah. because you showed me a work. I don't know when Hallelujah. and I don't know where. Hallelujah. But you showed me a work. Hallelujah. Preacher said, I hope you die. I took that death threat and threw it on him. Amen. People told the congregation, don't you even witness and say amen to nothing he said. My ex-spouse wife at the time said, what you going to do? I said, I ain't going to do nothing. I'm going to let God deal with that. Mm. He got up and said, I hope you and Sister Darlene drop dead at the mm. altar if y'all yes, get married. Yes, yes, he did. Yes, he did. We was in our teens. Yes, Daddy he said did. to me, what are we supposed to do? I said, don't you worry about nothing. <laughs> I threw that on him. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Needed the headquarters church. Hallelujah. I threw it on him. <laughs> Hallelujah. I told him, you declare that you never saw the righteous forsaken. Yeah. No seed, big bread. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 I told him, you, you the one showed me this. Yeah. And you have to bring it to pass. Oh, yeah. Or else be found a liar. That's right. I will talk to God. You have to bring it to pass or be found a liar. Yes. And I know God ain't going to tolerate being a liar. <laughs> no way. My little bit experience with God made me and is making me what I am today. Yeah. Because of my little experience. Are you finished being made? Oh no, I'm still on the potter's wheel. <laughs> I, I, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm still on the potter's wheel. <clears throat> I want to stay on the potter's wheel. That's it. I want to fill his hand for me. And if I become anything he don't want, mire me. Ruin it. Make me all over again. Hallelujah. That's the way you want to be. Don't be afraid of allowing God to ruin you and remake it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do you mean? Hallelujah. Sometimes God has to break you to show you you. And if God got to break you, submit to the breaking and let God rebuild you. Wonderful. Don't you rebuild yourself because you may put a component that don't go there. Are you listening? Wonderful. You try to build yourself, you may use the wrong material. But if God built you, he would give you the right material that will weather the storm. You go grab material and it's prefabricated. That's right. And you build yourself up quick. Quick housing development. When you make yourself a quick housing development, all you need is a match. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Smallest flame, burn you up. Burn you up. And now you're not the same brother or the same sister that you were. But if you let God break you with his word, Hallelujah. as often as he chooses, he's the breaker of man and the builder of man. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, family. God have broke me many times. Yeah. And at no time did I shun yeah. the breaking of God. Yeah. It was an honor. Hallelujah. Show me how much you love me. Don't just, I don't want to experience God's love just through blessing. Give me the pain if need be. Yeah. 
because if I just experience his love through blessings, that can spoil you. So Hallelujah. I want the, all the characteristics of him. Hallelujah. And he brought the pain. And then brought scripture with it. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Yes, he did, Vernon. Go ahead. God brought pain. And then moved on me to preach. And I can hear them scriptures barking at me. And the pain, he was beating me. But I refused to shine. Hallelujah. I refuse to run. God ain't make me no coward. God made me a soldier. Go ahead, man. If it take pain, bring it. As long as I step into the kingdom. Go ahead. Go ahead. Preach it, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Make you a warrior. Yeah. Pain. Yeah. Give you better fighting instincts. Yeah. Pain. Yeah. Teach you how to endure. Yeah. Pain. Yeah. Develops you. Before you get in the ring for the championship, you got to take pain. That's right. Some of us want to get to a certain level in God. And this is where you mislead yourself and trick yourself. You fast and you pray. And you wonder why you ain't there. You know why some of y'all ain't there? Because you're too much of a coward to really endure what it takes to get there. So sometimes when the word come, you may just want to feel. Sometimes that ain't gonna happen. Yes, sir. Sometimes when that word come, beat you and cut you. Sometimes you just gotta sit there and cry. You may rock back and forth. Glory to God. You may just cry. Hallelujah. Asking God to help you. Rubbing your legs. You're lost for words. Don't know what to say. You shake your head. You're speechless. You can't even say amen. Yet you know it's the truth. Stay there. Good teaching. Take the pain. Because there's a better day coming. Hallelujah. If I take the pain, I got a testimony. Later. Yay! Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Go ahead, brother. Thy Lord and thine staff. Go and take off. It's comfort me. Hallelujah. Take the pain. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Take it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be a coward. Take it. Go ahead. Nobody is going to get anything from God without pain. It takes pain to get that prize. You want blessings without pain. But many of these blessings will come as a result of pain. Hallelujah. Wonderful, wonderful. Ministers, Moses 
went through repetitious pain. She did. But it kept Canaan and folks. Yeah. Israel turned on them. They made a calf. They worshiped the calf. They denounced Moses. But the Lord said Moses was the meekest man in all the earth. All the earth. Mm. Moses took the pain. Yes, he did. And when God was going to destroy Israel, yes. Moses went and besought God. Yeah. Told him, turn from this evil. Yes. Do the people any harm? Mm. Hallelujah. Are you listening to the old man? Hallelujah. Grow. Thank you. That's it. Serving God is not always ice cream, cake, and candy and easy. Pain is a part of development. Look at the amount of pain that I have that you bring to me. My pain is international pain. Not a local minister and just passing one congregation. No. My pain comes from north, east, west, and south. Cause me to pray when I can be resting. That's true. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Amen. And this is constant. I'm dying standing on my feet. This job kills you. Amen. And I know it's killing me. So it is. Yes, sir. The Bible says you're killed all the day long. Yes, sir. All the day long. Hallelujah. Any of your progress or your success in God, you're going to have to feel some pain. Yes, sir. Remember the Bible says this. Endure hardness. hardness. They hit. Yes, sir. The Holy Ghost said, endure, endure hardness. 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 As a good soldier. Yeah, chapter and verse for this. Second Timothy chapter Everybody two. Everybody all right? Yeah. Second Timothy chapter 2 and at verse 3. We're giving the correct time, brothers. Hallelujah. All right. Come on. Thou therefore endure hardness. Endure pain. As a good soldier of oh, wait, Jesus wait, wait, Christ. Wait, wait, wait. Endure it how? As a good soldier. No. Not just a soldier. A good soldier. What do you mean a good soldier? That means one who ain't going to run from the battlefield. Right. Good. Good I got to take the bombs. I got to take the missiles. I got to take the torpedoes. I got to take the chastisement. I got to take the correction. I got to take the rebuke. That's right. Indoor hardness. I don't care how little I feel. I don't care if the backlash. Wow. Holy Ghost says. Indoor hardness. Look at the backlash that Jesus got. Yes. Got so much backlash, he was nailed on a tree. That's right. That's right. That's right. The Bible said they killed the Prince of Life. Yeah. And here comes Jesus declaring, mm. Spirit, the flesh talking to the Spirit. Not my will. Not my will. He still kept the will of the Spirit in front of him. But let thine will be done. That's right. But the flesh felt the pain. Oh, yeah. Early, early, le masabatere. My God. My God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from hearing the roaring of my mouth? Of my mouth. Amen. Wonderful mouth. And his thirst, they gave him vinegar. Hardness. He endured it. Made mockery of his royalty. Yes, he did. Took a robe of purple. Threw it on. Made mockery of his kingship. Made a crown of thorns. That's right. Placed it on his head. That's right. Early, early, lay my Sabbath in it. Uh, maybe he's calling on Elijah, one of the prophets. Let's see what they come and deliver him. Yes. Yeah. They spat on him. We haven't even went through an eighth of what he went through. No way. No way. Stay in the fight. Don't be over righteous. Don't worry about what the other person is doing. 
Stay in the fight. And worry about you. That's it. That's it. That's it. Indoor. Indoor hardness as a good soldier of what? Of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. But the Holy Ghost brought to you tonight. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, anxiety is a struggle many face. But Pastor Gino Jennings shines a light on this dark topic in powerful sermon that's gone viral. My respected friend, in his passionate delivery, Apostle Gino Jennings exposes the root causes of anxiety, urging listeners to confront their fears and doubts with faith. He emphasizes that anxiety is not is not just a mental battle. It's a spiritual one. Ladies and gentlemen, drawing from scripture, he reminds us. He reminds us that God is our refuge and strength. With heartfelt conviction, he challenges his audience to cast their worries aside and trust in divine providence. Apostle Gino Jennings message resonates deeply. Offering hope and healing to those burdened by anxiety. His words empower individuals to reclaim their peace by embracing faith over fear. Ladies and gentlemen, join the thousands who have been inspired by this transformative sermon. Ladies and gentlemen, don't let anxiety control your life. Let's expose. Let's expose it together with the truth of the gospel. In this informative video, we delve, we delve deep into the topic of anxiety. A common yet often misunderstood mental health condition. Ladies and gentlemen, join us as we explore what anxiety really is, its symptoms, causes, and how it impacts daily life. We'll discuss the different types of anxiety disorders, 
including generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, and social anxiety, providing a comprehensive, comprehensive understanding of each. Ladies and gentlemen, you will learn about the psychological and physiological aspects of anxiety and discover effective coping mechanisms and treatment options available. Whether you're seeking to understand your own experiences or wanting to support to support someone you care about this video aims to provide clarity and insight into the complexities of anxiety. Ladies and gentlemen, anxiety is a natural response to stress. But for some, it becomes it becomes a persistent condition that affects daily life. It's more than just feeling nervous before a big event. Anxiety, anxiety manifests in various forms, including generalized anxiety disorder, panic, panic, uh, panic disorder, and social anxiety. Ladies and gentlemen, people with anxiety may experience overwhelming feelings of dread, excessive worrying, or physical symptoms like a racing heart and shortness of breath. These feelings can interfere with work, school and relationships. making everyday tasks feel is insurmountable. Understanding anxiety is crucial for managing it effectively. It often stem, stems from a combination of genetic, 
environmental and psychological factors. Recognizing triggers and developing coping strategies can help individuals regain control. If you if you are someone you know is struggling with anxiety seeking professional help can make a significant difference remember you are not alone and support is available ladies and gentlemen what the bible really says about anxiety we dive we dive deep into the scriptures to uncover the true biblical perspective on anxiety and mental health as we navigate through the complexities of modern life many are searching for solace and guidance in the world of god join us as we explore key biblical passages that addresses anxiety offering insights into how faith can provide can provide comfort and strength during challenging times we'll discuss the teachings of jesus the wisdom of proverbs and the letters of paul revealing timeless principles that remain relevant today ladies and gentlemen whether you are currently struggling with anxiety are seeking to understand how the bible can help others this video aims to equip equip you with knowledge and encouragement rooted in scripture discover discover how prayer community and faith can transform your experience with anxiety in today's world anxiety is a common struggle but what does the bible have to say about it 
in Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7. We are we are reminded to be anxious for nothing. Instead, instead we are encouraged to present our requests to God through prayer and supplication. Allowing his peace to God, our hearts and minds. This peace transcends all understanding and can help us navigate lives uncertainties in Matthew chapter 6 verses 34 Jesus tells us not to worry about tomorrow for each day has enough enough trouble for its own this teach this teach us the importance of living in the present and trusting God with our future. Ladies and gentlemen, Psalm chapter 55 verses 22 advises us to cast our burdens on the Lord. Showing us that he will sustain us. This is a powerful reminder that we don't have to carry our anxiety alone. God is always there to support us. Finally, in first peter chapter 5 verses 7 we are instructed to cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. This simple act of surrender can be transformative. Releasing us from the weight of worry. Ladies and gentlemen, so when anxiety strikes remember these biblical truths embrace prayer trust in god's provision and lean to his promises Ladies and gentlemen and my respected friends, we explore 
we explore christian anxiety relief and the faith based on treatments that can help calm your mind and soul discover how spiritual practices prayer and biblical teachings can provide comfort and solace during challenging times we delve into the powerful connection between faith and mental health offering practical tips for incorporating christian principles into your daily routine to combat anxiety ladies and gentlemen join us as we discuss how trusting in god's plan can elevate worry and fear and long about the whole of humanity and prayer in healing whether you are struggling with anxiety or simply seeking peace of mind this video aims to provide provide you with the tools and understanding to foster a deeper sense of tranquility through your faith anxiety can feel overwhelming but faith offers a powerful source of comfort and relief in christianity we find we find guidance through scripture prayer and community support the bible reminds us in philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7 to be anxious for nothing this passage encourages us to bring our worries to god in prayer allowing his peace to guard our hearts and mind engaging in regular prayer can provide a scene of connection with god helping us to release our fears and anxieties into his hands when we trust in his plan we open ourselves to peace that transcends our understanding another vital aspect is fellowship surrounding ourselves with supportive community can offer encouragement and accountability sharing our struggles with others allowing us to experience compassion and understanding reminding us that we are 
never alone in our battle. Additionally, participating gratitude, gratitude shifts our focus from anxiety to the blessings in our lives. Keeping a gratitude journal of sharing thankful moments and prayer can help cultivate a positive mindset. When we uh, when anxiety strikes, remember to lean on your faith, pray and connect with your community. By doing so, you can find profound relief and renewed sense of hope. In this eye-opening video, Pastor Gino Jennings delved into the pressing issues of anxiety, offering shocking revelations that could change the way we approach mental health in 2024. Discover the spiritual insights and practical advice he shares as he uncovers the roads of anxiety and how uh, faith can play a transformative role in overcoming it. Apostle Gino Jennings challenges controversial views, inviting viewers to rethink their understanding of anxiety through a biblical lens. Whether you are struggling with anxiety yourself or looking to support someone who is, this video provide a valuable perspective that can lead to healing and hope. Apostle Gino Jennings has been vocal about anxiety, addressing its impact on spiritual and mental health. In 2024, his insights are more prevalent than other. He emphasizes that anxiety often stems for a lack of faith and trust in God. Jennings encourages believers to cast their cares upon the Lord, reminding us that true peace comes from the surrounding our worries to Him. Apostle Gino Jennings points out that the modern world bombards us with stress and distractions, pulling us away from spiritual focus. He warns that this can lead to a spiral of anxiety, pulling us further from God's grace. He urges, uh, he urges the congregation to pray and diligently seek God's guidance and emerge themselves in scripture. Janang believes that spiritual discipline is a key overcoming anxiety and finding solace in faith. In a time uh, when anxiety rates are soaring, his message is a powerful reminder to turn to Lord for strength and comfort. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insights from Pastor Gino Jennings.